Hello, uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate a memory cell, a single bit in Logic World. So the way this is designed is that I can read from the cell, the memory cell, or I can write to the memory cell. So the uh, there's four pins here. There's the data pin, the read pin, the write pin, and the enable pin. The enable pin is necessary so that in this thing here, which I'm going to explain in the second follow-up video, it will allow me to enable only very specific memory cells so that when I send a read or write command, only certain memory cells are enabled. And like I say, I'll follow that up in the uh, other follow-up video. Okay, so to read or write, I need to enable. Then let me put A1 on the data bit. So here's the, here's the data pin. Uh, it is currently one. I click right and it latches the value to the D-latch. If I set that to zero and hit right, it's now zero. Let me write a one, and then I will turn off the data, and then I will pull down the read button. While I'm holding that down, while that's high, it will put the value of the D-latch under the data line, and it's one. So that is working as expected. Now let's turn off enable, and right now the value is one. Let's try to write a value of zero doesn't work. And let's try to read that value. And that data pin doesn't go high. So the enable bit is working. I'll just explain the uh, this circuit just a little bit. It's, it's not that difficult. It consists of the D latch, which stores the bit. It has an enable pin. When that enable pin is on, you can write to the D latch. Uh, when the enable pin goes on, it will latch whatever the value is on the input, uh, which is this pin here. So there's two things I might want to do with this thing. One is write. So to control writing, I have this AND gate. This AND gate says if write is true and enable is true, then enable the D latch. So Let's see if I can bring up the console here and try to remember how to show this maybe a little slower. Okay, and I will try to enable and then write zero. And I will try to like stand here so you can kind of see, we should see that and gate go high, it should enable this, and then it should uh, latch a new value there. Oh, I have to hold down the button a little longer uh, because the, the tick is so slow. It was a little hard to see, but it you could see it wrote zero. Now if I want to read uh, the data, let me uh, write a one there so it's easier to see what's going on. I'll turn off the data line. So now for read, I'll trace this. Here's the read input. Here's the read data pin. And it goes to this pin, which is just for wiring purposes and goes into this three-way AND gate. The three-way AND gate will return a one if the D latch is one, that's our bit, and the read line is enabled and the enable line is, is enabled. So if all three of those are true, then it will uh, present the data on that data pin. Let me just push that again and you can see that. And that's it. It's two AND gates and a D-latch. 
Uh, in my next video, I will try to explain how a RAM, small RAM system works. Thank you for watching.